This is Brian Jackson from Devotion Learn in Brooklyn, New York, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about 32-bit files in Ableton Live. When we go into Live and we go into the Preferences, we'll see in the Record Warp Launch tab that we have the option here of 32-bit. Now, generally speaking, you're going to want to use 24-bit whenever you're recording audio. 16-bit is for CDs, but these days there's no reason to record at 16-bit. So always record at 24-bit unless you're going to use the resampling feature. Now, resampling is a feature in Live that involves setting the resampling option as your input for any audio track. And then what's going to happen is that everything you're hearing, if I had multiple tracks, and any of the sends and the returns, whatever's going through the master output is coming in through resampling. So I'm going to go ahead and going to record this. And it automatically mutes the track so we don't get a feedback loop because this would be going through there and then back in. Now when I'm ready to hear this, I'm just going to go ahead and launch the clip. And we should hear it with all the effects. Now, the reason that we do that is 32-bit is because Live's mixer runs at 32-bit. So we're going to maintain full fidelity, full quality, as though we're hearing it in real time. But now it's an audio file, and I can go ahead and do any of the things that I'd want to do with a clip, change the loop brace, chop it up, any of those sorts of things. So it's going to keep it at full quality. Now, the other reason that I would use 32-bit is going to be when I'm exporting. So here we can see that we have the options of 16, 24, and 32. Also notice that dither turns off when I pick 32, and that's because there's no need to add any dithering when you're running at full bit depth. Now, 24-bit is going to be what you're going to export your full songs at most of the time, and usually you're going to want to pick no dither. Now, rectangle or triangular would be the least obvious dithers, and in most cases, you're probably just going to choose none anyways. But if you are going to send it off for mastering and you want to maintain full quality and let the mastering engineer have all of the dynamic range and all of the bit depth to work with, then you can pick 32. Always check with your mastering engineer before you send them a 32-bit file, but any decent mastering engineer should be able to handle anything you throw at them. So to wrap up, the only reason you use 32 is if you're exporting a finished mix and you want to send it off for mastering, or if you're going to use the resampling option in live and that way it'll keep full quality.